Good morning children, Saira. Welcome back to our today's session. And so today we'll be completing this poem. And let us continue with our poem. Uh, Earth Day. Uh, it's a part three today. And today we are going to do some of the activities and the question and answer which is given in the poem. Now before we start with the activity, let us go through the uh, let us quickly give a revision of the poem what is given on lesson that is poem number 11 earth day okay so this is the poem you have to learn the poem by heart you have to learn the poem by heart with a nice tone and nice face expression okay so start learning the poem for the exam so this is your poem I am the earth and before you read the start the poem you have to read the topic you can see poem number 11 earth day or chapter number 11 earth day or lesson number 11 earth day since it is a poem it's better to say poem okay now this is your poem I am the earth and the earth is me each blade of grass each honey tree, each bit of mud and stick and stone is blood and muzzle, skin and bone. And just as I need every bit of me to make my body fit, so earth needs grass and stone and tree and things that grow here naturally. That's why we celebrate this day. That's why across the world we say, as long as life, as dear as free, I am the earth and the earth is me. So it's a very sweet, small poem. You can easily learn by heart learn by heart okay now this poem explains about the earth related to the human life each blade of grass honey tree mud stick and stone are earth's blood muzzle skin and bone so if you are thorough what is the poem about you can easily answer the any type of questions so just as human needs every bit Every bit of themselves to keep their body fit, earth needs grass, stone, tree and things that grow naturally. So that's the reason that Earth Day is celebrated to spread this message far across that how earth and human life are, are connected with each other. Okay, now you can open our textbook you have page number 96 you can take your pencils i hope you all are ready with your pencil and then eraser now first let us do this reference to context answer these questions with a reference to context either you can write the answer immediately or you can pause the video and write or whenever you find time you can write the answer but write the answer so that it will be easy for you to revise during your exam our first question is each bit of mud and stone, stick and stone is blood and muzzle, skin and bone. Each bit of mud and stick and stone that is mud, stick and stone is blood, muzzle, skin and bone for the earth. Okay. Now the first question is who is speaking these lines? So who is speaking these lines? Is that the poet or the earth? Each bit of mud and stick and stone is blood and muzzle, skin and bone. Who is speaking these lines? Yes, the earth is speaking these lines. It's not the poet or it is not somebody else. Who is speaking? The earth is speaking these lines. So who is speaking these lines? 
the earth is speaking these lines these lines means the given lines number 2 what sir b question what are the things that are important to a human body so what are the things that are important for the human body yes skin muscles bones and so they are very important for the human body so here also it is given so blood muscles skin and bones so what are the things that are important to a human body so which line is given see that line and then write the answers don't write your answers on your own so the question is the what are the things that are important to a human body you should not write eyes ears mouth nose all these are also important but that is not given in these lines so reference to context means what reference you have to refer those lines which is given and then write the answer so here so the blood muscle skin and bones they are important for the human body so answer is blood muscle skin and bones are important to a human body understood children so do not write the answer on your own the question is important things in a human body okay so read the lines again and again and find the answer now next is c question which things are important to earth which things are important to earth so each bit of mud stick and stone they are important to earth right so mud sticks and stones trees also given in the poem so they are the important to earth so here it is given mud stick and stone they are important to earth so trees if you want you can write or if you don't write also it's okay and the next question is what would happen if the earth did not have its skin and bone so what would happen if the earth did not have its skin and bone so means if the earth doesn't have the mud stone trees so what will happen so life on the earth would be destroyed if the earth does not have skin and bone so what is skin and bone mud grass whatever the things which are fine naturally so those things so life on earth will be destroyed there will be no life on the on the earth so life on earth will be destroyed if the earth does not have its skin and bone so if you are going to if you are going to cut the trees and if you are going to break the mountains and build the buildings so everything all the natural things will be destroyed by the human being and after few years there will be no life on the earth that is why we celebrate this earth day and we keep reminding the human beings that earth is very important for us and we should preserve the earth we should plant the trees conserve the water conserve the energy everything is being taught everything is being recap every year by celebrating the earth day now our next question is question number 2 so i hope you have written the answers given in that space okay our second question is so earth needs grass and stone and tree and things that grow here naturally so earth needs grass and stone and tree and things that grow here naturally so a question in what way is the earth compared to a human being in what way earth is compared to a human being so for the human being it is important blood is important muscles are important bones are important so same way for the earth grass stones trees are also important they are like the blood 
muscles and bones for the earth so in what way is the earth compared to a human being so earth too has needs the earth too has needs just like human beings so we all need everything bones muscles blood so same way the earth also needs everything to to make the earth to keep the earth itself alive right b question why does the poet talk about the things that grow on earth naturally why does the poet talk about the things that grow on earth naturally so why is he talking because the poet talk about talks about the things that grow on the earth naturally because it is the earth requirements because it is all needed by the earth they are the requirements of the earth and the c question is why should a human body be fit why should a human body be fit yes your human body should be fit to remain healthy so same way earth is also needs all his requirements to remain fit and healthy to be a clear clean earth so that is why we should save the earth and the last question is what would happen if the earth fell ill the life on earth will be destroyed so life too would be unfit if the earth falls ill so life on earth will be unfit so our life human beings life will be unfit as now we are suffering all people are suffering because we have to wear the mask because we have or we are facing the air pollution so some substance some viruses is present in the air this is all because of that air pollution because we did not we do not have the clean air we do not have clean air so what should we do to get the clean air we should plant lots of trees to get the clean air we should be aware of this earth day celebration and we should learn and we should also know how to protect our earth so what would happen if the earth fell ill life would be unfit if the earth falls ill how will the earth fall ill earth will get fever stomach pain no there will be no trees then we will not get oxygen if there is no water if there is no rain then we will not get human beings will not get water so same way we have lots of problems as we did in the match the following like global warming pollution deforestation conservation all this we should know okay and protect our earth now let's go to this answer these questions what are the things in nature that are like the earth's blood bones and skin so the grass mud trees and stones are the earth's blood bones and skin which part of the earth are talked in the poem the surface of the earth like mud grass trees and stones are being talked in the poem the surface of the earth okay the bottom most the surface of the earth that that is mud grass and trees and stones are being talked in the poem and our next question is what would happen to the earth if things were if things were okay here something is missing if things were not sorry what do you mean is and right nicely so if things were n o t not n t h e r e So this is the question. Okay. 
what would happen to the earth if things were not there if things are not to be seen on the earth what will happen so if these things were not there on the earth nothing would grow on it so life will be destroyed life will be unfit to live on the earth and our next question is how can the earth keep itself fit how can the earth keep itself fit the earth can keep itself fit by letting things grow naturally so earth lets the things to grow naturally but we the human beings we destroy everything right so we should stop doing the, those acts number 5 okay so here we come to the end of the lesson so thank you children we will see you in the next session with a new lesson so until then bye bye take care